I want you to understand something, and I want you to hear me. The way that a woman thinks is completely rooted in emotion. So understand that. The child is her property. The child is her slave. The child is her physical property if you're not married. In some states that they've put laws out there where both parents, whether they're regardless of the fact if they're married, have equal rights, Georgia is not one of them. So from a standpoint, this is her child. And even when I proved that she had lied to the courts because she wasn't sworn in because Georgia has this family uh, concert, it's a conference, it's a family conference, there is no swearing in. So she was able to lie to the courts and get away with it. And we're going to get into some of these other things about the courts a little later. But with that, know that if you get a woman pregnant and you're not married, she has all of the rights. But this is the wrinkle. Since she's not married and you are part of it, you have the right to pay child support. And also they keep it separate. Child support is this. And then custody is another case. Now ask yourself, why is it separate? Because they can get that money out of you much faster by keeping it separate. Because if it was all put together, then it would take much longer for you to work this out because you, my good man, would get custody rights and visitation just like that. But since they have set the courts up where they can extract money out of you and understand child support is a federal mandated scheme because there's money that the states get from the government for collecting child support and there are bonuses and all kinds of stuff. So understand that if you're going to fight this, know what you're dealing with. And also from a constitutional standpoint, you have rights. You have a lot of rights and many men don't know this.